Hey everybody, welcome back to another ST3D video like always on VJ. So today we're going to do a quick video on how to set up Cura for the TiVo Tornado. I recently, about a week ago, made this video about how to set up the Creality CR10, CR10S, and other Creality products in Cura. A um, few of you contacted me saying that, hey, it'd be nice if we could get one for the TiVo brands as well. So I was just going to look on YouTube and send you guys a link to somebody that's already done it. But uh, there's really nobody that's actually set up TiVo Tornado in Cura, surprisingly, that I could find. So <clears throat> after giving up uh, my five-minute search that I did <laughs> for Cura setup for TiVo Tornado, I decided to just go ahead and make a quick video uh, just like I did here with the Creality. So the first thing you want to do um, is, of course, go ahead and go into Google, and you want to type in Cura Download. Okay. Once you do that, it's going to bring you to this page here. Go ahead and click on the first one, and once you do that, it should bring you to the page. Uh, with all the software that's already on there so uh, just go ahead and hit agree and you'll be greeted with this go ahead and click on download for free <clears throat> actually sorry uh, I'm gonna download the one for Mac but for those of you that have Windows uh, what you can do is go ahead and click on view all versions okay what that's gonna do is take you to this page here if you have Windows this is the most current up-to-date as of February 14th uh, that was updated. I just realized somebody is working on Valentine's Day to do that. Sorry for that guy. Uh, but anyways, if you have a Mac, you're just going to click on this one and download this. So for me, I have a Mac. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Um, this window is going to pop up and it's basically just going to ask you what are you using Kira for. Um, personal projects. Fill all these out. Uh, everything here and just go and hit download and once you do that depending on if you have Windows or Mac your download procedure will be different but once you're done downloading uh, you will be greeted with this here okay so once this opens up you won't get this screen um, I already have it downloaded so I get this screen but once you open up Cura for the first time after you install it, you're going to be greeted with a similar screen like this where, uh, let me go and show you, this screen right here. So basically, if you don't have an Ultimaker, because we're doing the TiVo Tornado, uh, we're going to have to pick other. Now, from here, if you notice, there are some TiVo products but not too many. You have the Black Widow there and you have Tarantula there. Now me personally, I you could pick one of these and change things out but I rather pick something that I'm familiar with that has the same build surface. So basically 300 by 300 by 400 which is basically the Creality CR10. So you can click on that and just do Add Printer. Okay, once you do that, since I already have one, it's going to say Creality CR10 number 2. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and rename that because I don't want this to be Creality. I want this to be the TiVo Tornado. And once you hit OK, it changes the name there. So that was the first step. The second thing you want to do is go over here where it says Machine Settings and click on that. Okay. And at any point, guys, if you ever uh, kicked out of the screen and you end up here and you don't know what to do, um, you just click on Ultimaker Cura, go to Preference, click on Printers, and it'll bring you right back to the screen. So we're going to go to Machine Settings again. Uh, now I've already set the diameters on it uh, by default. <clears throat> Actually, Cura does that for you by default because it knows the build surface uh, is 300 by 300 by 400 things that you want to look for here um, heated bed make sure it's checked off okay these right here um, will work I use them just like this on the TiVo to print and doesn't give me any problems but if you actually have some numbers in mind you can actually do that as well 
Uh, you can change these just by clicking on it and changing it to whatever you want. So make sure the only thing we're looking for here is the heated bed is checked off. Now, do not check this off. Okay, leave it unchecked because the center for certain printers are at different locations. So center at uh, origin at center basically means like uh, you would think it would be in the middle of the the bed, but it's not. Like for the Creality, it's towards the left, and I believe the tornado is the same. So if you check this off, your print's going to start printing here instead of printing in the center. So just make sure, leave a blank. We just want to leave heated bed. Then you're going to go to extruder, and what we're checking for here, guys, is just make sure the TiVo tornado comes with the 0.4 millimeter nozzle. So just make, that, make sure that's 0.4. Uh, the filament size, just go ahead and make sure it's 1.75. Once you do that, we're going to go ahead and close this off. Now, <clears throat> that's basically it. After this, you can go ahead and start printing. If you notice here, uh, you got the TiVo settings. And if I switch back to Creality, you can add as many printers as you want. Um, but I'm going to go and show you a few more things on here. Uh, for those of you that are very new to this and don't know what these settings are, if you notice the basic settings here is you can just set your layer height, print speed, infill percentage, uh, if you want to generate support, and that's it. This is like the most basic things you can start off with if you have no idea how Cura works. If you do, you can go into Customs and uh, or custom and click on these little arrows here and <clears throat> pick what you want by clicking on this little gyro here select the ones you want uh, to actually define um, value for and just go ahead and check it or check it off and once you check it and you hit close it'll come up here and then you can go ahead and use everything now just to let you guys know Okay, uh, right here under material, um, we're just going to pick PLA. And here, pick the point two. Even though this is the Creality setup, we're just changing the name. Everything here now will work for the TiVo. And the point two, guys, if you're not very familiar with um, how to use Kira, the point two will get you decent prints right off the bat. I guarantee it. If you have your bed leveled perfectly and your printer works, uh, fine, uh, you, sh you should be getting great prints just off of this here. Now, next video that I do make, for those of you waiting, I do apologize for the long wait, but I will have a new Cura profile uh, point to that I'm customizing myself, and I'll have that on there. But for right now, if you're just looking for a profile to put on here, I'll put a link to this uh, group here. It's my Facebook group. Um, sand tube 3d printing group and all you're gonna do is once you get here um, you can go ahead and click on files and you'll notice that I already have a profile set I have a 0 0.1 0 0.2 to a 0.15 and even a profile for ABS so what you want to do is once you get here I believe I don't have the ABS on there but um, let's go and do the 1.5 so let's say you want to use my profile just to get started. Click on the right side right there. Click on download. And once it downloads, in Cura here, what you're going to do is there's two ways to get here. You can click on this arrow and go to manage. Uh, sorry, go ahead and manage uh, profiles. Let me go ahead and delete this one. because this is the one we just downloaded so let's say there's nothing here and you want to import my profile all you're going to do is click on import and you're going to go to your downloads and you'll see right there sand point sand 2.15 once you click on that go and double click or open you'll see it'll say import it successfully and there it is right there and once you click on that it'll tell you what the parameters are set to here uh, you can close this now you can go in here and actually select that profile and it'll change everything up according to how I have it set so if you notice this gray area showed up um, on the build plate because I, I usually like to my, make mines a little bit narrower 
Um, so I have a printing surface of 300 by 300 by 400. I, I do 298, 298 by 398, just in case there's ever a problem. But that's how you import profiles into Kira. Um, a few things that you would want to know about is first, this is where you go to upload a file. So let's go ahead and click on download and apparently I don't have any STL files. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. But this is a G code that I already transported. This is one of my test prints that I'm doing for my new profile. So that's how you load in profiles. And these symbols here, uh, basically what it is, it's before you would have to move around to navigate Kira. Um, but on this one, it's basically straightforward. You can just click on that. It gives you a view of exactly how the box is shaped. This is going to be your front view. It's going to be your top view, left side, right side. Okay. Um, that's one thing that's very easy to do. Um, this bar right here, guys, for those of you that have Apple, you hit Command E and it will go away. The reason you would want to use that is if you have a large print or if you want to take up the whole screen to look at it to bring it back it's the same thing command E for Windows it's going to be control E to get rid of it and to bring it back okay so that's basically just a quick setup of the TiVo Tornado a uh, few functions how to load STL files and a uh, quick view here if you want to know more detailed on how to use this I have other videos out there go ahead and take a look you can go to layer view there uh, like I said this little gyro here if you click on it oops if you click on it it'll bring up everything that's available that you can pick notice I don't pick everything I don't think there's any uh, 3d printer out there that picks every single feature because the more features you have uh, selected the more likely you have, have likely to have issues um, but that's basically it guys um, I hope you guys found this helpful if you have any questions or comments leave it down below you know I'm always here to help you guys out uh, if you want to see more new content go and stay tuned subscribe to the channel turn on your notifications every time I make a video you will get a notification of that uh, I will put a link to the YouTube channel as well so if you just happen to come across this video and you want to check out the rest um, you'll actually be directed to the page on that one um, so again uh, leave a comment if you have any questions concerns for those of you that don't follow me or haven't been following me I answer every single comment that I get whether it be a question with a yes no or I don't know um, or an answer to help as many people as I can out there to get um, to make their transition very smooth into 3d printing world so there you go guys uh, once again thank you for watching and like always good luck and happy printing